Hi everyone, my name is Peter Hart, uh, former competitor, starboard and Severn team rider, and now professional coach. And today we're going to look at choosing a board quiver. Now still after all these years, the most common questions I get asked are, what size board should I get and what's the best gap between them or step down? So now this is not set in stone, but if I could only choose three boards, this is how I do it. I just hope it might get you thinking in a different way about choosing boards. The most important thing I think is not so much the volume, but it's getting the board and sail size to fit. And when those two are absolutely in synergy, then the whole combo just punches way above its weight. So this is what I'm going for. A 129 carve free ride with a 7.5. Now that is a perfect combo. It's for winds from about 12 knots to 16.17. I know I could be falling in that wind, but where I live, it's quite shallow. The, you can only fall at high tide, so I still really like free riding. And this is a go past, go somewhere, summer winds, really enjoyable. The whole speedy enjoyment of windsurfing. Now, the next step down is a 105 code free wave. Now, the thing to understand is that once you get to 18 knots, 17, 18 knots, force five, actually the wind pressure doubles. So pretty much everything plain. So I can drop right down to 105, knowing that this is going to work perfectly with my 6.2 and 5.7. And that's a proper manoeuvre-based sailing, maybe in small ways, maybe in chop, but just having fun, popping, jumping, carving, slashing, bit of old school freestyle. This board also doubles up as a light wind wave board. So on the days where we get not much wind, but a lovely swell, it's got the volume for me to bog out, as we say, to the waves, turn around and then ride them back in. And finally, the icing on the cake, if you like, the wave board, the 93 Ultra. Now, for most people, those two boards would take them a long way, but I live on the coast. We get a lot of good wave days. Wave sailing is my passion, so I've got to have the wave board. 93, the ideal size for me, which for one wave board is your weight plus about five or 10 in liters. Most importantly, the sail sizes that suits it, Perfect with a 547, but it'll take 52 right down to 37. So basically, now I've got it covered from 12 knots right up to 30 plus with just three boards and about four rigs. So I hope that's given you some ideas. Thanks for watching. And obviously, this is a subject which does provoke a lot of questions. So leave any comments in the boxes down below and please enjoy your windsurfing.